What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about Jeepers Creepers, the series in this video here today. Better known as or formerly known as Jeepers Creepers Cathedral. You recall at one point Jeepers Creepers 3 for the longest time in between 2003 up until 2017 when the third film actually released. Everybody was led to believe that we would be getting a film that would be seeing Gina Phillips back in the returning role or starring role, I should say, returning as Trisha Jenner, the sister to Derry Jenner, who we know was played by Justin Long, the brother she lost in the original movie. She was going to be back. It was going to be set 23 years later. She was going to team up with the Taggarts and she was going to join forces with them to stop the creeper from killing her son the same way it killed her brother 23 years ago because she's been having this terrible nightmare about it. She was supposed to be this wealthy woman now. She was helping them support their farm, keep that in business by paying them to allow her to come out and be a part of this ritualistic or some type of burning they wanted to do to kill the creeper. And it was gonna be set 23 years later. All of this will come to a head in a finale that would have seen the creeper blown up by a C4. If you've read the Cathedral script, you know what I'm talking about. But that got turned into a series. We know Jonathan Breck has talked about this when Jeepers Creepers 3 came out back in 2017, talk about how Cathedral was broken down into a TV show. And you guys know that recently I've shared who was going to star as Derry Jenner in that show and who the creator had in mind to play Derry Jenner. It was supposed to be Lucas Adams. I shared exclusive images with you all in some videos in the past. They're probably going to be popping up here in this video. They probably were already on the screen by this point. But I wanted to share with you who the cast could have been according to the creator and what they had in mind. The series creator, Victor Salva, and what he had in mind for Jeepers Creepers, the series. Now, just to start off at the top, we know that Trisha Jenner was going to obviously be played by Gina Phillips. We know that the Creeper would have been portrayed by Jonathan Breck. We know that Derry Jenner would have been portrayed by Lucas Adams. Now, these next set of characters I'm going to get into, some of them might be new. I've touched on some of the characters that were going to be present in the TV show in the past, but a lot of these, not a lot, but some of these names might be new. So, Edward Helicum, who we know would have been the priest character that shows up with part or shows up in partnership with Trisha early on, who has a history with the creeper. We lost a family member to the creeper many years ago. Uh, Edward Helicum, a priest that shows up in alliance with Trisha, would have been portrayed by none other than Tobin Bell. That's one person, at least, that was in mind for this role, Tobin Bell. And then we have Captain David Brennan, who we know would have been like overseeing or leading that team of mercenaries that Trisha would have brought with her, also in alliance with her to help take out the Creeper if necessary. David Brennan would have been played by Sean Patrick Flannery. Jack Jr., who we know is the son to Jack Sr., would have been portrayed once again by Luke Edwards. Uh, Sheriff Davis Tubbs, now remember, in the original movie, he was a sergeant. In this series, he would have been the sheriff. Once again, played by Brandon Smith. We know he actually ended up appearing in the actual third movie that we got still. And then there's a new character here, Detective Cortez. She would have been portrayed by Lauren Velez. And then you have a Detective Hendrick, who would have been portrayed by Joel McKinnon Miller. I have no idea who any of these characters are, those last two I just mentioned, because I have no descriptions of them. Giselle Gay Hartman, who we know would have been portrayed by the returning Patricia Belcher, who we know starred in the original movie. Blair Kittredge, who we know is the woman that is housing several of these shredded or I guess you'll say shredded creeper husk. Uh, she has like over 40 of them in her cellar. And she's protecting it from being burned. So this is obviously something that's been passed down for generations, something that this family knows about. And they, in a lot of ways, are protecting the town of Poho County, even though she's seen as like this weird lady in town. Blair Kittredge would have been portrayed by Dale Dickey. Minxy Hayes, who we know was not even originally a part of that cathedral script, but the script, when it was broken down into a TV show, managed to fit Minxy into it 23 years later, which is cool. That, of course, would have been portrayed by Nikki Acox. And again, rest in peace to Nikki Acox. Greg Docker, who we know is one of the miners that would have uncovered the cathedral and all of the secrets related to the creeper, that would have been played, or they would have been played by Terry Crews. Now, the Terry Crews thing, when I saw this, I was like, wow, Terry Crews battling the Creeper. That would have been that would have been something to see. 
The one I'm not actually fond of at all is Rowan Shepard, who we know would have been Greg's mind, Greg's partner in the mine, also uncovering all these secrets with him. He's portrayed by Tom Sarantini or Tom Tarantini. Now, Tom has already appeared in two Jeepers Creepers movies. He played a he played a criminal in the first one, and then he was the coach in the second one. So, you know, I, I mean, sure, he can play a different character again, but it's like you've already done this two times now. Just find somebody else to play a character. Stop using Tom. And then we have another character who I've never heard of, Bunny Lee. So this is a new character that would have been introduced in the series, portrayed by Veronica Cartwright. I just wanted to share who the creator had in mind at one point these people would never cast this is just what could have been these are like just brainstorming ideas or some of the people he wanted for these roles in the tv series related to jeepers creepers and it being set 23 years into the future and of course being that long overdue sequel to that second movie you guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you think about all of this if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you want me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in next video